to every channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. For the last week, we're being, we have been very busy working on our first NFT project, which also consume a lot of our energy and time. It's the first time we're using NFT as a platform for this particular digital project. It is a performance art we did on the anti-Asian racism issue. So it's a pretty serious topic that we want to bring the awareness, especially on this platform. The reason why we choose NFT is because we think the con concept of NFT matches the goal we want to achieve. And I don't think there's other particular platform can do the same. When we record this performance is for 20 hour, 24 hours unstopped, unedited video is happening on this particular time during COVID and during this sensitive time when a lot of Asian racism, hate crime is rising. And for me, it's it, this is like the best way for us to express our feeling. We've been always, always care about art and technology and then this issue is specifically and related to us. But the thing is, is it is also a total experiment because we are not 100% sure what's gonna happen after we post on this platform and after we share with other people. So I wanna use this channel to share with you guys what is going on with our life. And this is a big part of what we've done last couple of weeks. And in this episode, I wanna talk about if you wanted to post a project on NFT, and if the project format is not supported on the OpenSea, this platform, what do you have to do and then the process of uploading? First of all, of course, you need to have account to register and create your MetaMask account, which is your Ethereum wallet. Then you need to create this OpenSea account to, to, be, to be able to use the MetaMask account wallet. So in our case, we have some Ethereum account in our um, wallet. And I remember my partner was using Binance account a couple years ago. And if you use that account, you may have to send your ID and it take a couple of days to create that account. So that's in our case, we did that. But there are a lot of other ways that you can send Ethereum to your wallet. And the amount of money is also changing as well. Uh, last week or two weeks ago, when we watched videos, people are saying it's like around $50 to, to start, start to sell. But when we do it today, just now, it will almost become $150. It depends on the crypto markets. So it probably just pre be prepared when you try to sell your project, the gas fee, like the, the start fee is different, depends on the crypto market. And also depends how many transaction is going on at, at that moment. So once all this is ready, you just can create my collection and then put your logo file, the collection name, and then you can add item on your collection. The next step is what's the most important is if your digital work it's under 100 megabyte and it also is a supported file. So you don't have to worry about anything. You can just upload it. Our video, this, this video is particularly talk about if your file is unsupported file and is also, or is also like over 100 megabyte, which is our case. You can use this part as just for the thumbnail or some kind of uh, GIF file that work as to just to catch attention. And then you can add name here for, and then the external link. So this is, this external link is the link that everyone can see. So you can add a video to explain about your artwork or website. You want to put it here, like make sure you're not putting actual file, actual, the file you want to sell on this link. Then you can add a description of this project. And then now it's the unlockable content. That is the content you want who the, for the person who own your project. That person can see this link. Make sure it's turned on. Even if you already have the supported file there, you can still put some 
um, put the link to download or some thank you message, whatever you want to put it there. We want to upload the MOV file, which is unsupported file. Then you just put the link in unlockable content and make sure people can access from the link. So whoever uh, purchased this project will get access to this link and download the file. So far, what we talk about is like, we try to show you the example. And from now we'll talk about the, the, the project we're actually uploading. Here's when you can do the sell before selling the, you can choose all the options. So we choose for this project's auction style, and then you can choose minimum bid, which is the starting price, how much you want to put there. And then the reverse reserve price, which is the top price when you reach this goal. If you set up a certain amount, when you reach this goal, it will be sold at this price. And then you can also choose the expiring date. Here are all the options. And then on the right side, there's another bounties. Bounties is for whoever introduced this work, the link to the actual buyer, they will receive the referral bounty, the percentage, which you can choose percentage from 0% to 2.5%. Underneath is the collection fee. Is Collection fee is for whoever is resell, we will, the original creator will get certain percentage. You can also control the percentage as well. If, you, if this is your first time, of course, like I mentioned before, you have to pay the Activision fee, which is for us is 150 US dollars. By paying this fee, your work is registered on the blockchain. And then after paying, it will take uh, some time to process all, and then always approved, you're good to go. And this is only one time fee, only for the first time you register. Uh, after all this done, you, you can sell it and start to bidding. It depends on how long you put it. And another thing that we realize is even though you post your post everything, you can still change the descriptions. So that's not something we thought we can do at the beginning, but after we click sell, yeah, we can go back and change. So yeah, this is like the process we've done. Um, for me, this is completely, everything is so new and I find, I find myself a little bit overwhelmed because of this platform is exciting and we want to use the most innovative way to promote our work or protests or uh, any kind of project that we not, never thought we were able to sell at the beginning. So I wanted to make sure our experiment can, can really bring some awareness for issues and art we care about. So if you're interested in work, work on what kind of project we're working on, please click on our description link below and or let us know what you think. This is a pretty personal project for me as well. I hope to get some support with you guys. That would be awesome. And for those of you who those of you who don't care what kind of project we're working on, that's also fine. I hope it's somehow helpful. If you're working on your first project on NFT, I hope this video can be a bit helpful for you to, to go through the process. And yeah, that's it for today's video. And thank you so much for your time to watching my video. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. We are continue exploring in this virtual digital creative world that we're living in. Yeah, please take care of yourself and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.